Hi there, my name is Kyle Porter and I'm a senior sales engineer here at Simba Technologies. Today I'm going to be showing you the upcoming Simba Redshift ODBC driver and showing you how to connect Amazon Redshift to Power BI. First thing that you want to do is you want to configure your ODBC driver to connect to Amazon Redshift. So I'm looking at the management console for my Redshift cluster and you can see I have my endpoint here, I have my database name, and I have my port. So I've already installed the ODBC driver and set up a DSN. For those of you who don't know, a DSN is essentially a stored connection string you can use over and over again. So we'll configure this. And you can see I have my, my server already filled in. And that's exactly the same as what's showing up as my endpoint. My port is similar to what's showing up under the port. And my database is what's showing up under database name. I have my credentials. Now if I test, I can see that I can make a successful connection. So my ODBC driver is configured. The next thing that I want to do is I want to connect from Microsoft's Power BI desktop, which you can get from powerbi.com. So we go to Get Data, we can go to Other, ODBC, and Connect. Here you want to enter the connection string to connect to your ODBC driver. So this will be DSN equals, and then the name of the DSN that you just configured. So I'm putting Simba Redshift because that's the name of the DSN that I created. You can optionally type in a SQL query if you want to analyze data from an ad hoc SQL query. I'm going to leave this blank and I'm going to use the table navigator that comes in Power BI. So once you hit OK, it'll prompt you for your credentials. Fill those in and hit Connect. You only have to do that once. Afterwards, Power BI will store that so that when you access this data source, you won't be asked. So you can see the list of tables that I have. And if I click on one, you can see I get a preview of all of that data. So we'll choose to import this one, uh, table. And I can either load or edit the data. I can use edit if I want to go clean up my data. Say I want to order it or group it. I want to uh, add a new measure or column. I want to split data. Um, that's all done through edit. Right now, I'm just going to go and load to create a simple visualization. So here, Power BI is connecting through the OWC driver and pulling the data back. Note that Power BI will um, alter the SQL it can, uh, the SQL that it emits to make use of what the OWC driver and the data source support. In this case, since uh, Redshift's a, a fully fledged SQL database. Um, Power BI will send off SQL queries to modify the data without extracting it all. So let's create a pie chart. Um, we'll put the count of our name, and we'll put our region key as our reference. So you can see um, we have a pie chart with five regions that will each have five uh, countries in them. Now we can add a table with the name, and I want to go turn off the totals on this table so that if I select a region, I can see which uh, nations are in each region just by clicking. And that's how easy it is to create a visualization with Power BI and the Simba ODBC driver connecting to Redshift. You can go to www.simba.com for more information. And thank you for watching.